The filing of an application by Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal to strike out the second elections petition 9920 of the APNU AFC coalition attracted strong refutation from Attorney at Law Mayor Robertson. During the continuation of the case management conference on Tuesday, Robertson, who is appearing for the defendant, argued that the application should be struck out because the Attorney General did not follow an order of the court made by Chief Justice Acting Roxon George. He pointed out that the order specifically asked only for submissions to be made and contended that the Attorney General went off on a frolic of his own to file an application which asked for a dismissal of the petition based on effective service made on former President David Granger. Robertson also argued that the AG was forcing the court to hear the application on November 24, when November 30 has been set aside to address the issue of late service on Granger. He also contended that the Attorney General approached the court by the wrong method, filing a notice of application when he should have filed a summons. Robertson would later give up on that reasoning when told by the Chief Justice that his reasoning was untenable. I have made a distinction between what we're asking for here and the other situations. Well, Mr. Uh, Robertson, I don't see the distinction, and I've said so. There is absolutely no distinction. I don't agree with you. I'll be guided by the court, Your Honor. So if you maintain this application, then we will have to go back to the other applications that you made that were not made by summons. Your Honor? In the circumstances, I will not pursue the application on that basis, on the basis of non-compliance with the rules, but I'll pursue it on the basis that it was not authorized by the court's order. But even when proceeding with his argument that Nandal deviated from the order of the court, Robertson also faced some pushback. Nandlal, in explaining the reasons for filing the application, said that while he acknowledged that he exceeded what the court asked him to do, he did in fact have a right to file the application, since he is the Attorney General. Nandlal said he did not need the leave or permission of the court to file the application, although it had asked only for submissions on an observation already made by the court. Now, I have no difficulty, Your Honor, if the court is prepared to rule that I have approached the court by the wrong procedure, that's fatal, and then certainly one of the petitions will go, or well, actually all of them will have to go. Because inherent in all two are applications in which the same CPR procedures were utilized. As the judges say, Your Honor, one cannot approbate and reprobate. While the hearing was adjourned to November 30, when the application will be heard fully, along with whether Granger is a necessary party, the Chief Justice told Robertson on Tuesday that what goes for the goose will also have to go for the gander. She claimed that Robertson also violated her order and submitted voluminous documents that has already been filed and which the order asked not to be filed again. Robertson was quick to apologize, but Justice George emphasized that if he proceeds with that argument, then she can strike out his submissions similarly. Very well, Mr. Ms. Robertson. And similarly, in your submissions, you were not supposed to attach all the documents that have already been filed, but you did. Your, your Honor, I believe the two things are... No, no, no. No, it's the same court order. You were saying everyone must obey the court's orders, and that's just so. But what goes for the goose will have to go for the gander. And you have produced what I consider to be voluminous submissions by adding documents that have already been filed with the court. In two of your submissions, you have reproduced all the affidavits that you filed. And I said, do not do that. Because all I have is a mountain of paper that is unnecessary. I apologize, Your Honor. The intention was to make it easy for the court. It's not easier. It's harder. Already, the attorney for Barajak, the Trinidadian senior counsel, Andrew Mendez, has said that he intends to argue that Granger is a necessary party in the case. He said this question is also relevant when the issue of service is examined. Mendez said if the court decides that Granger is not a necessary party, then he will be struck out only from the proceedings when defective service is established. But if the court decides that he is a necessary party, as Mendez intends to argue, then the entire petition will need to be struck out. 
The interested parties will further ventilate these points when the case management continues on November 30. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.